right, I'm gonna show you how to draw a car. Um, now, anybody can draw a car, but let me show you the hard way. We all know the hard way. The hard way is where people go and they try to draw the outside of the car. I'll draw some wheels on it. And it honestly doesn't look very good. Here's an actual car. If you look at it, we got a rectangle right here. So we've got a straight line and a straight line and there's a line here for the roof. If you can draw three lines, you can draw any car. So we're gonna start with a simple one here. So three lines. Now you want to make sure these aren't too far apart. From here, we're going to make a couple lines here and a couple lines here. And there's the basic shape of the car. Here's the roof. If we draw the wheels, no, we're going to draw the wheels right in the middle. We're not going to put them down here unless we're doing a four by four. They're going to be right here. Notice a couple of things. Um, we've got a long hood and we've got a short trunk. Also notice that these are kind of long. We, we don't want to make our lines too far apart or too short because if you do that, you'll get a clown car. Um, and, and unless you want that, in which case you'd be successful. What we're going to do now is make this thing look a little bit less boxy. And we're going to pretend this is like a block of wood and we're going to start carving away at it. Just going to draw a line here. Let's give it some hips. And now this is a little too high, so I'll just go down a little bit lower. And then right here, we're going to slope the front windshield and slope the back windshield. And it already looks like a pretty good little muscle car here. If I erase these construction lines, you end up with a pretty interesting car shape here. Now we've got to do a couple other things. All cars, there's a couple of exceptions have some kind of trim going down the side. It might be in the middle, it might be high, it might be low, there might be more than one, it might end in a scoop, but with a few exceptions, all cars have something here. This is to draw your eye across the car. It also visually divides the car between top and bottom and makes it look longer and faster than it actually is. You want your eye to flow across the car like this. It makes it look fast even when it's not moving. So we don't really want lines going up and down, but we have to have doors. So one door is going to start right at this A pillar, and the other door can start anywhere else, really. Um, generally, this goes from the top of the roof all the way down. So we've split the metal for the door, and we've split the glass, because the glass has got to open up too. And from here, we've done the hard work. This, this is it. The easy and the fun part is where you start adding detail. I'm going to give this thing a sick... Uh, a uh, thick C pillar and I'm going to kind of square out the wheel wells and put some circles in. We will talk about how to draw a good circle a little bit later. We're also going to talk about how I'm kind of scribbling here and why that makes it easy to draw. But there's a pretty good generic car thing. So here's our three lines. Now this one, I'm going to make a pickup truck. Now we could continue this and make a camper shell on the back or make an SUV out of it, but we're going to leave it blank. We're going to put a trim line down the side, up high, and then we're going to sketch in our wheel wells and then draw a couple circles in it. Here's our door lines. There should be a little bit of a thick C pillar here because it looks good. Got a couple of bumpers. And we've got ourselves a basic truck. <laughs> we want to do something a bit more round. Let's draw three lines. I'm going to start right about there and draw a smooth line that comes up. And I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to make the windshield and then I'm going to make the roof slope all the way down to about halfway. And we either have a 60s Corvette Stingray or we have a Porsche 911. We're going to split. We'll make this angled a little bit. A little triangular window here. Wheel wells. This little fin will do it. 
Now let's actually build this up a little bit, get some windows on, the, let's get some headlights on there. This is one of the rare cars that does not have trim. Now I can look at this and I can say, this door's kind of big. This window's kind of, there's something not right about this, but it's okay because I can erase it. And let's try that. Add a little bit more space here. We can put a little black rubber thing back here that some of them have. And we've got a pretty good Porsche 911. A couple of things that I want to explain to you. Uh, how to draw a good circle. You're going to need a circle for your wheel. Uh, two ways to do that. One way is just to go around it, around it, around it, around it, around it, around it, around it. And you want to go fairly fast. And you'll get a pretty good circle out of that. I mean, even if you start out lousy, if you keep doing it, you'll get a pretty good circle. The other way is you can make a couple of dots like this and draw curved lines. Now notice what I'm doing. I'm picking the pencil up. I'm not going around like this. I'm actually doing it in segments. To make that a little easier, we can draw a square, because squares are easy to draw. We're going to draw a circle inside this square, but we're going to touch the center of each line. I'm going to pick it up and go back to the beginning. This seems a little strange not to go all the way around, but it works pretty good. And so you can get a good wheel that way. And once you've got this, it's a little easier to work out a circle in the middle. you got to have that because this is your tire and this is your rim. And to get some good rims while we're at it, draw a circle in the middle or a dot. Doing that will make your spokes a whole lot easier. And here's a common thing I see people do is they'll try to draw rims on a car and they forget that there should be a tire around here. So please draw a circle inside your circle and if this is kind of hard to draw spokes, draw a little circle or a dot in the middle and you can make some bolts around it and that helps your eye and your hands know where to go. So just some little tricks to make this easier. Now there's another thing that I do when I draw is that I'm kind of scribbling lightly. This, this is hard to do. This takes some practice to learn. We're used to drawing like we write. Now, when we write, we grind that pencil into the paper because that's how we write. The problem is this is really, really hard to erase. Even if you can't erase it all the way, you'll find that you've dented the paper from the pressure and there's pencil lead inside that and you can't get rid of it. That's why a really dark line really can't get rid of. Also, graphite is a lubricant, and if you put a lot of it down, it's going to just slide your eraser over it. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to draw a couple of short strokes like this. I like to go in one direction, but if you go back and forth like this, if it's easier, that works too. You'll get a pretty, pretty good precision out of that. If I try to draw free hands, you know, my hand is going to wiggle a little bit and it may not go where I want to go and then you go, ah, I can't draw a straight line. Well, you don't have to do it this way. The easier way is to just kind of scribble it and go a little bit at a time and it's actually a lot easier. Now, we want to go light because we want to erase. The trick to drawing things easily is to be able to make a lot of mistakes and correct them. We are going to draw two lines for a Lamborghini's body and the roof line is going to be really really close. And then we'll put some wheels. Now on a sports car Lamborghini these wheels go up fairly big. I mean, a common mistake is to draw your wheels really tiny like this. If you look at cars, especially sports cars, there's not a whole lot of metal here. This tire is almost entirely inside the car. There's only a little bit sticking out underneath. 
And these tires are pretty big. Even on a regular car, you can see that this wheel goes up about halfway. Even though it's a toy and distances are exaggerated, you can see there's quite a lot of wheel in here. So for our Lamborghini, we're going to draw our wheels kind of big. I like to draw the wheels first sometimes. It helps me work out proportions on how big things are going to be. Now I'm going to come up a little bit right about here. And I'm going to make a big swoopy line. And it's going to go down a little bit at the end. And then it's going to kind of swoop up at the end like this. And this line's a roof. We're going to take this line and continue it up to here. And then we're going to swoop this line down like that. And so here's our tiny little window. Here's our door. We've got our trim on the side. There's a little bitty window here. There's a scoop. Now to draw a wing, wings are easy. You draw the side of the wing like this and a couple of posts. And that's easier than, than you'd think. If you look at this car from the side, the wing is just a little rectangle and there's a little triangle holding it up. If you try to draw it 3D like this, this is where people kind of get messed up. This is where you see people drawing cars where you have a wing looking like that on the side and they don't know what's wrong with it. So your wing is actually pretty good, but you got to make the rest of the car 3D also. And I will show how to draw a simple extrusion like this in another lesson. We'll draw a Lamborghini another way. We'll draw one line go up a little bit at the front, a little bit at the back, and make one big swoopy line like this. Now look how long this is. A common mistake would be to make it too short like this. And then your Lamborghini Gallardo turns into a Prius. Big wheel right here. And then for the roof, this is also the roof line. We're going to kind of cut into it like this and make this little swoopy line that goes down and back up again. And here is our windshield and back window. And then the Gallardo has a couple of scoop lines that come up like this and end in an actual functioning scoop. It's not like a Mustang where it's just kind of there. This is a little bit too long. That's okay because I'm drawing lightly and I will draw it the way I want, and when it's the way I want, then I'll erase what I don't want. And then we will add a couple of lines for a post, and we'll put a wing on the back, and there's something that looks more or less like a Lamborghini Gallardo. And then we'll put some rims on this guy by drawing a circle in the center and then drawing some spokes. And we will stop there today.